This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Hindu. everyone you're watching headlines now with me Divya well it's another attempt to kill for honor a girl followed her heart to marry the man she loved and that is almost costing her her life this 19 year old's throat is slit and she's battling for her life and who is the man responsible for this gruesome situation it's her own father every year more than thousand young people in India have been done to death every uh, owing to these honor killings that is our big focus tonight and our crime reporter Selim will join me for more details. And the other big story that we are tracking this evening is the Sterlight Copper Smelting Factory, which is back again in the spotlight. The case is going through more twists and turns, and Ashmit will bring us the latest on that. Before we go into the details, here are the top stories on headlines now. It's a horrific crime. A father attempts to murder his own daughter, and her crime, she married the man she loved. Are the pollution levels at Tuticor and Sterlite plant normal or not? CPCB and TNPCB give different reports to the Apex Court. Is there no end to the fishermen killings? Frustrated, let down and angry, several activists stage protests across Chennai. High Court issues show cause notice to tourism secretary. Government to respond in a week's time on why it did not follow previous orders. January 25th will be celebrated as National Voters Day to motivate young and fresh voters. Proud to be a voter, that, that feeling has to come in. Will the Danny Boyle Rayman combo climb to reach mountain high expectations? 127 hours will hit the screen soon. You didn't tell anyone where you were going. <laughs> and let's also bring you the national news making headlines. Top BJP leaders arriving for the Ekta Yatra are locked in at the Jammu airport. और ये तो अब जिस तरह का आक्रामक व्यवहार किया गया है विपक्ष के नेताओं के साथ इसकी हम बहुत भर्सना करते हैं बहुत कंडेम करते हैं चेंज इट सीडब्ल्यूजी चेयरमैन सुरेश कलमाडी हैज फाइनली बीन सैक्ड विद इमीडिएट इफेक्ट रामजीत मलानी आर्ग्यूज अगेंस्ट द बीजेपी चटस गुड गवर्नमेंट एंड एक्टिविस्ट विनायक सेंस बेल हियरिंग Karnataka Governor Bharadwaj has insulted the constitution, Alkir Bani says after the BJP leaders asked the president to recall him. Prana Mukherjee to clarify the government's stand on black money tomorrow after the prime minister asked him to do so. And Leander Pace and Mahesh Bhupati enter the quarter-finals of the Australian Open. Well, a top story tonight, it's another attempt to kill for honor. A father slit his own daughter's throat and what is the crime? This Hindu girl married a Christian boy and all this in the heart of a police station. This girl, only 19, is now in a critical condition and has been admitted in the ICU in a private hospital and her father has been arrested under charges of attempt to murder. <laughs> Aku pun ada tapas. Nalai anda, awang di dalam nasional nang nang ini, yaitu nang nang, awang yaitu pangan nambi dah pon awang di dalam. Awang apa sana? Nak kandi pun yaitu kerana apa? Nama yaitu kerana soli dah nak kup dari. Nanti dari itu dah, yang video polis ini sarwa uri amcu utar. Dari mana pora ini? Amcu utar angkup pona kaneng esai awur illa. Awur dah yang telefon mana? Nih dari mana? Anak inspektur muni dia, awang apa awang di kerja arti dari. Arti arti ni apa yang di kerja awang ni inspektur dia nanti pora di dari. Nenek terlalu. Nanti apa media ni relief pon nang nih pon nih pon sana nih. Pada kerja umur lain berat cikanya, anak mama mama cerita, orang apa yang tu bulat cepat dia pun nih cikanya, orang tu pun tu bukan hospital, orang najer pun tu dah, benda ni lalu pun mesti terlalu cer. And for more details on this, our crime reporter Salim now joins us live. Well, Salima, what is the condition of this girl as we speak? Yeah, the yeah the girl is recovering now. Uh, the background of the story is the Hindu boy, uh, the Hindu girl and the Christian boy married two days ago. They appeared before the Williwakam police station this morning as the boy's house is located in Williwakam. Meanwhile, the girl's father had lodged a, a woman missing complaint at the Red Hills police station in suburban Chennai. Hence, the Red Hills police contacted the couple and asked them to appear before them. When the couple entered the Red Hills police station and when they were negotiating with the police officer, officers uh, and the girl's father, the girl's father, in a fit of rage, hit the girl's throat with a pen knife. 
The girl fell unconscious and was rushed to a private hospital. As you said, uh, she is undergoing uh, treatment at the private hospital. Doctors say that the girl is out of danger. Meanwhile, the Redlands police, who stood witness to this attempt uh, to murder, arrested the girl's father, 48-year-old Elmarai, and uh, he will be lodged at the Pudel prison shortly. Right, Salim, thanks uh, indeed for joining us with the details of this very heinous crime. Moving on, the Central Pollution Control Board and the Tamil Nadu Pollution Control Board today deferred before the Supreme Court over the alleged pollution by Sterlite Industries' copper smelting plant at Tutikoran in the state. According to councils appearing for TNPCB, as per the conditions of the permissions to set and run the plant, Sterlite has developed only 25% green belt in the areas and its solid waste disposal was not good. However, contrary to that, the Central Pollution Control Board said that it was in favour of the plant and submitted all parameters out within the limit. And pollutants were found within the notified air quantity standards as well. Meanwhile, the Madras High Court's order directing Sterlite Industries to close its copper smelting plant would continue till the next date of hearing. And for more details on this, my colleague Ashmit now joins me live. Well, Ashmit, how is that one of the world's largest manufacturer is in a pile of problems like this? Again, big problem. You summed it up correctly there, Divya. Again, it began with all with, uh, again, the Madras High Court order, which was, again, on September 28th last year, when, again, uh, citing concerns of various environmentalists uh, and a concern that had been put forth with regard to uh, effluence emissions from this uh, smelter, uh, smelter uh, plant, uh, copper smelting plant in Tutti Cotton, which, again, raised a lot of eyebrows. And the order was a very strict one at that, which, uh, again, required the closure of this uh, copper smelting plant. Again, now, Sterlite, considering that it is a subsidiary of, again, the, the behemoth of... Uh, Mining and metals, that's uh, Vedanta Group. They again came down hard themselves and again uh, struck the court saying that again, uh, it's not been fair for them because their side has not been heard. Now, that was their claim. Now, based on that, the Apex Court had given uh, them an interim stay order on the 1st of October. Now, and again, it required agencies such as uh, TNPCB and again the Central Pollution Control Board to come out with their assessment of again uh, the way the situation on Ground Zero. Again, a very, very different assessment coming in, very contradictory to each other. TNPCB again says that again, um, all the criteria that were initially laid down for Sterlite, either it's been only partially met or been or, or has not been met at all. And on the other hand, you have uh, CPCB saying that, uh, again, uh, large parts of uh, commitments have been dealt with and that, again, it, it has been uh, and they have uh, been supporting Sterlite's claim. So right now, as of now, uh, again, a sort of another reprieve for Sterlite coming in, wherein uh, the interim stay order has been extended to February 25th. Now, that's the day when uh, agencies such as uh, Sterlite themselves and uh, the CPCB uh, will be coming out with their reply to, again, the concerns that have been put forth today by the TNPCB. Well, thanks uh, so much, Ashmit, for joining us with all those details. Moving on, anger and fear has gripped the city after the repeated attacks on Indian fishermen. Senior politicians and advocates have all condemned the killings. The city saw many agitated protests today. Activists protested in front of Home Minister P. Chidambaram's house, while another section of advocates condemned the killings through a black flag demonstration. For almost three decades now, more than 200 fishermen's lives have fallen to Sri Lankan bullets. The latest killing took place on Saturday night and it is one of the most gruesome deaths reported. All fingers point towards the island nation, but the Sri Lankan Navy has gone on the defensive saying they are not responsible for any of these attacks and allegations against them are baseless. The advocates of the Madras High Court strongly condemn the continuous activities of the Sri Lankan army that they are every day killing the Tamil Nadu fishermen. This is continuously happening. Hence, we are protesting today. We are planning to protest strongly against the single army and against the Indian Navy. And coming up on headlines now is the man who has been the face of the massive CWG scam out for good more when we come back.